Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has expressed hope that GST bill would be passed in the next session of the parliament. Addressing the opening session of World Economic Forum India Summit, Finance Minister Jaitley said that there is huge increase in the indirect tax collection and almost 36.5% rise in revenue receipts till October 3rd. He also said that legislation on bankruptcy law to be introduced in the next session of parliament. He also said power sector reforms will be announced in the next couple of days. Government to issue Shoka's notice to Volkswagen group of companies. Uh, significant variations have been found by testing agency ARAI in on-road emission levels in the diesel models of Jetta, Octavia, Audi X4 and Audi A6 in India. If proved any wrongdoing in India, the world's largest car maker may have to face criminal proceedings, fine and recall of vehicles. Government likely to soon put in place a new single window clearance mechanism to provide faster approvals for urban development projects. Urban Development Minister Vinkan Aydu said November 30th is the deadline they set for themselves. And once that framework comes into operations, the delays in approvals would be addressed. Entities participating in gold monetization scheme can earn up to 2.50% interest rate on their idle gold. According to a notification by Reserve Bank of India, interest rates on medium and long-term government deposit are 2.25% and 2.2% respectively. And the tenor of medium term would be between 5 to 7 years, while long term would be for 12 to 5 years. Solar power tariff has touched an all-time low of 4.63 rupees per unit following aggressive bidding by US-based Sun Edison, the world's biggest developer of renewable energy power plants. Sun Edison won a bid to sell solar power from a 500 megawatt plant in Andhra Pradesh under Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission. Government says certain media sections reported incorrect news on Moody's analysis. Opinion of a junior associate economist employed with Moody's Analytics has been splashed all across, implying it as of the opinion of Moody's Analytics by few media houses. Government in a release said media has a great role in enriching our national discourse and such episodes seriously hamper its credibility.